only the best example conditionally. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, If your concern is about Allah, if you're mindful about Allah, if that's what preoccupies your consciousness, if your concern is about your state in the Akhirah, meaning whether you, will, will you end up in heaven or will you end up in Jahannam? Because Jahannam is another place that will purify your sins. It's one of the two fires that will purify your sins. One of the fires that will purify your sins is in this world. That heat, that regret, that shame of doing that sin burns within you, cleanses the heart. That's the flame that cleanses the heart in this world. If you don't do that in this world, well, there's another fire waiting that will do the job. Right? So Allah is saying, if your concern is your hereafter, whether you will end up in heaven or whether you will end up in hell. And if you think about Allah often, for such people Allah is saying that Rasulullah is the best example to follow. In that case, he's the best example to follow. Uh, but if you worry is your career, how are you going to elevate in your career? And that's your main priority in life. If you know young ones, you know, always concerned about pop stars. If your concern is about pop stars, well, is Rasulullah going to help you there? Or Lady Gaga? Which one's going to help you? Who are you going to follow? Which example for that outcome? It's conditional, isn't it? So understand that if you truly want to succeed, that your relationship with Allah depends upon your relationship with the Messenger and what you take from Him.